here guys and today we're talking about the diatone taken i don't know who you are i don't know what you want that's right the taken why is it called the taken this is the two and a half inch version of the taken and in my mind the guys at diatone were sitting around a boardroom and the reason that it's called the taken is that they're brainstorming and like the CEO was like, okay guys, we need a new name. What about calling it the Green Hornet? And one employee was like, um, iFlight's already using that. So he said, hmm, okay. What about the Cinebi? And then another guy was like, taken. And then the executive was like, taken, huh? Yes, put it on the package, send them out. So that's how we got the name here. Uh, this again is the two and a half inch version and it is pretty impressive. Um, a lot of us want to be able to get very smooth, um, compact, fully protected HD footage. And I put this thing to the absolute test. I extracted every ounce of power. I'm flying this very heavy GoPro Hero 9 on this thing. And the nice cool thing about this is that it already has this little GoPro Hero 9 holder right here and it just like slaps in there and you can just go off and away. Now in typical Dytone fashion, this comes with a plethora. A what? A plethora. Of extras in there. There's two sets of props, all kinds of extra hardware. Um, there's tools to be able to mount this little mount on and off extra screws depending on what type of mount you want to go with i mean there's zip ties there's just like so much stuff in this really cool little carrying case that they give you this is a very nice size one it also comes with um, four different colors of these protective ducts that you can install if you want to get a little color in your life and uh i mean look at this extra straps antenna tubes if you i mean they just give you everything in these builds now this diet i'm taking as you can see has the toothpick board this is the 25 amp version of the diet mamba board i actually reviewed on here and i never would have known when i was initially reviewing it that it could carry this much weight now Dytone has went um, kind of an alternate route on their motor sizing here. They're using a 1404 motor that's 5,000 kV. Now, the other thing you notice right off the bat is that this is sort of upside down. Yes, it's in a pusher configuration and it comes with the very, very nice baby Rattel camera. That's one of the best cameras on the market, arguably the best um, and so they really give you a lot for your money especially considering this is really cheap i can tell you i don't have money but what i do have are a very particular set of skills the analog version they are rounding it off with their version of um their video transmitter i believe this is the same one that they're using on the diatone roma five inch that i just reviewed um, this is the plug and play version. I went ahead and installed Crossfire on there. Uh, it was a really nice install. They have this very long bottom plate here and you can see there's plenty of room. I installed it right back here. It comes with a nice little Fox here, Lollipop 3 antenna. You could swap that out for a lighter antenna than that. And since this was gonna be cine whooping, I went ahead and installed the full Crossfire Immortal T antenna. It has a printed holder for it, so you're ready to go there. I do like a lot of the injection molded that they're going with on the ducts here. That is quite nice. This uh, GoPro holder right here is also injection molded. Uh, one little note though, it's not the toughest. It's already cracked right here from a minor little spill. Um, nothing else was damaged. I think it would probably still hold but uh, I'm not going to fly my GoPro on here until I print another version of this. That's really minor because a lot of these don't even come with this. I mean, this even comes with the little Allen key to be able to install this in case you didn't already have that size. So very nice push configuration XT30 connector. Um, well, if you're loading it up with that much weight with a full size GoPro, you're going to get very small flight times and it's 
Uh, if you're loading it with that much weight, the gym fans that it comes with, they just don't work very well. You weren't, I wasn't getting lift off till I was like at 65% throttle and the flight times were very low. Even with this larger 1050 milliamp 4S pack, um, I found that if I switch to the HQ two and a half by two and a half that this comes with, I was able to get three or four minutes cruising, which is right um, where I kind of wanted to be. On the gym fans, I was barely getting like a minute and a half, maybe two and a half. Um, so this is definitely acceptable. The controllability is, with the extra weight, a little bit wobbly. I will also note that even though it has the ducts, you'll be perfectly safe from bouncing off of anything. Um, but if you do hit something, the shock of all the extra weight is just going to make you fall out of the air. Now, because this is so protected, you're not likely to break anything. I also do like that the top plate is split into three sections, kind of like that T-Motor FT5 frame. So if you wanted to do some maintenance, you'd only have to undo the four screws in the middle, take that little middle section off. You could do your maintenance and then put everything back. So that's kind of nice. Um, man, I really wish I had just a little bit more power, but I think I could solve that if I used that cable and powered my GoPro Hero 9 off of this, I would drop 46 grams and that would probably just give me the right weight that I am looking for. So really cool Cinewhoop option. I'm a fan of Cinewhoops that don't cost a lot of money. This one is very cheap. Um, if you were going to fly it inside of a house, well, I did that. It was a little tricky and uh, it is loud. You're not gonna wanna do that with anyone in the house. It sounds like a shrieking jet engine. It is ridiculously loud, louder than any five inch you've ever flown. If you've tried to like test hover inside your house, I don't recommend you do that, but uh, it's very, very, very loud. And I made a terrible mistake when flying this inside. I was flying it around, cruising it around. It was, it was okay to control, but there was a puzzle in the front room on the table that the whole family had spent hours and hours and days and days putting together and I forgot that it was there. And the amount of wind that this thing generates when I flew over it, the puzzle just flew into a million pieces. Uh, so yeah, a bit of a doghouse over that one. Uh, I probably would have been better off if I would have smashed a window because that puzzle was really difficult to get together. But Great option, guys. If you're cinema whooping, are you going the custom route, making your own? Are you using the larger three inch version? I really like the very lightweight and small footprint of this. Um, if you're, especially if you're gonna fly something like a naked GoPro, this is a no brainer. Uh, and it just astounds me that this two and a half inch has enough power to really full, to really drive that full size GoPro. Thanks guys.